Hello everybody and welcome back to Wilderness Adventures UK. So in today's video, not going to be massively exciting. It's mainly going to be me taking measurements uh, and, and giving you a little bit more insight on how everything's going to fit from the trailer into the back of the Land Rover. So I'm going to start by taking everything out the back of the Land Rover, everything out the trailer and measuring and just seeing if everything is going to go to plan. So uh, stick around for the, for the ride. I hope you leave me a like or a dislike if it's that bad. Uh, a comment and uh, if you're not subscribed please do consider subscribing it's free the button's just underneath the video on the right hand side i believe so uh, yeah just give it a click and uh, follow my adventures so we've got the right weather for this today so i can take the contents out and just chuck it all on the floor basically and it's not going to get soaked which is usually the case in the uk And my drop down table that I will fit on right now and I'll show you how it goes on. So obviously uh, this is a homemade gull wing. I am hoping to upgrade them at some point uh, and put gull wings on both sides. But we'll see how that goes. It's all dependent on funds and whatnot at the moment. But uh, yeah, this simply opens up like that. We've got some little hooks just on here. I don't know if you can see that because of the, the sunlight and whatnot, but they basically hook onto these two little brackets here. Dead simple. And then carabiners quickly latch onto two loops up here. And that, my dear friend, or friend rather, is a solid table. So this is going to be the kitchen area. And the vision is, let me just unlock this back door, to have the fridge just inside the back door here. So my Snowmaster fridge that's currently in the back of the trailer is going to be on a sliding board or maybe just in the door there and it's going to open up just there. So this is going to be the preparation and cooking area. My little gas stove is going to be on the, on the goal wing and then the fridge just inside there. Um, and yeah, I need to take the measurements and just make sure it's going to fit and make sure the, ch the chair's not going to uh, interfere. So the plan is uh, next week, in fact, I pick up the new awning. Now, the new awning is a 270 awning. For those who don't know what a 270 is, it basically concertinas out like a bat wing. So it's, it starts over on the passenger side. It opens up and covers right the way round to the back so that this area here will be under cover, as will the fridge, kitchen and all the other area at, at the side of the vehicle. So literally all I want in the back of the vehicle is my bed. The kitchen and everything is going to be outside the vehicle. I'm not going to want it as a seating area or a chill out zone. I'm not going to be having dinner parties or anything crazy in the back of the Land Rover. That is just literally for me to get my head down in there. So all it needs to fit is basically a few essentials on the passenger side, kitchen, etc., and then sleeping area on the driver's side. And that is basically the vision. So folks, this is what the inside of the Landy looks like with the seats down. Uh, the back seats are actually going to come out uh, as soon as I find somewhere to store them. But the back seats are going to come out and it, I've got exactly six foot from the back of the wall here to the back of the driver's seat. Because that's where the bed's going to go and that's how long the bed is. So it'll fit perfect, which I'm very lucky to be fair. Uh, what I'm going to try and do now, just off camera, is I'm going to try and fit this box on this side with the opening open for the goal wing. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go quickly off camera and I'll bring you back and show you the results. But in other news, the fridge fits perfect there. So my idea is to clad this bit out. Diesel heater is going to be under the floor with the vents blowing up into the vehicle and the fridge just here. But what I might do is I'll put the vents over that side so I'm not heating up directly under the fridge and the fridge is sucking in obviously hot air. Or I'll put them on the front so it's blowing into the front, but I haven't actually decided yet. But uh, yeah, I'm sure it will all come together when I start doing it and start taking proper measurements and start cladding it out. All right. So folks, that's kind of how it's going to go just up a lot. I need to come up about 10 inches. I don't know whether to fasten it to the side of the vehicle or just make it a stand and then ratchet 
strap the, the, the box to the side of the vehicle, obviously on the stand. But uh, yeah, I'll go away and ponder it a little bit more. But yeah, that obviously cover's not going to be there. So that's just going to be an opening with shelves in it. Or I could just build some wooden shelves. I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's TBC. I just wanted to make use of the Lakehorn box. And with having a Lakehorn box, you can obviously remove it from the vehicle, uh, giving you a nice bit of airflow. But uh, yeah, that's where we're up to. That's what we're doing. Uh, I'm just going to put everything back in the vehicle, make it sort of tidy, and then uh, crack on. So as a little bit of a side note, people, I didn't expect to be doing this today. But needs must. It's looking very, very, very grubby. So we need to give it a little bit of a squeegee and make sure these are clean, obviously, for maximum efficiency. So a bit of Dettol is all I've got to hand. I wasn't expecting to be doing this today. And the squeegee, and just give them a quick squeegee off to give them clean. Oh, stretching, this is a bit precarious. I tell you, I'm on a smaller set of steps in the world. Right, I'll give it another few sprays and uh, make sure it's all nice and clean and see if that improves my efficiency. So I'm going to apologise again. I know this isn't the most exciting video in the world. Um, it is what it is. I mean, it's just a day in the life of, I suppose, some much needed admin work. I've just fired up the fridge, which hasn't been turned on for over a year. Uh, it seems to be running lovely and it's coming down to temperature. Nice. Cleaned off the solar panels. I've swept all the cobwebs and I've given uh, the, the, the trailer a really good brush over just to give it a bit of a clean. If I get a chance, I am going to go out either next week or the week after in it. Uh, it may just be somewhere local, but we will do a camp out in it because I'm, I'm just missing it. It's just, a, it's just a crying shame. I need to get it out in the field, give it a right good clean and a right good going through. Let me walk around here. There you go, we're outside. Bloody hell, that's bright. But yeah, all the solar and everything is running absolutely lovely. Fridge is on at the moment. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick up this screen, but I'll give it a go. Uh, I'm not sure that's picking up, but hopefully you're seeing something. I can't actually see it on the screen of the camera. But yeah, we're on, uh, I'll read it off when it rotates round. 13.5 volts and we're charging nicely. Um, yeah, and in a nutshell, that was my day. Uh, all the contents is back in the Land Rover. It's looking a little bit tidier in the back. Let me just quickly run you over and show you. It's looking dirty. It's looking how a Land Rover should look. Eh? Everything's nice and tidy back in there. Lake Horn box. Found a toolbox to secure it onto. So I put it on top of a toolbox. I've secured it in place with this ratchet strap. It's going nowhere. Uh, I need to sort it out, I need to sort out the contents in all fairness, it's not tidied yet, but I am rapidly running out of time um, with the shops and everything shutting early on a Sunday. I've got to go and do some shopping. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's not as exciting as other videos, um, but we have got some excitement coming soon. I will take that out and we will go camping in that, even if it's for the last time. And uh, it gives me a chance just to clean it and go through all my kit in it. And uh, yeah, we'll tow it with that. All right, folks, I'm sorry for the, uh, the rambling and the, uh, and, and, and the lack of content in this video, but uh, hopefully it's given you a quick insight as to what's going on. You all look after yourselves and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.